Does this really make sure your smart speaker is not listening? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here, and I have my Amazon Echo, which means Alexa, say hello. Hello. So, it's working, it's listening, and there's a mute button on the top, but you know, you kind of wonder what it's actually still listening to and what it's sampling. Enter this. This is from Smarty, and it's called a Mute Plus. It's a simple little device that actually you put on top, but it's not just something that sits on top and covers up the microphone. It has a little battery and a little speaker, and it generates noise so that when this is on, you have for sure privacy because this is hearing the noise instead of hearing your voice. Now, the only way to really find out if it's working is to turn it on and find out, right? So, let's turn it on, and then there's a up to 60 minute timing system, so you can push it once, and now it's working, but you can also push it again, and let's see, you hold it down, and then the little lights on the edge come on, so now I have it for 30 minutes. Now, let me put it right by the mic so you can hear what sound it's making. Got it? So, it's like a white noise generator. So, let's do this. And now it's on my Amazon Echo Plus and Alexa, 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 nada. Now, if we turn it off, and there's a slider on the back, if we turn it off, family name, <laughs> cancel and we put it on, just having it sit on top, Alexa. Well, that kind of works too, but, oh, no, it didn't, see? What color do you like? All right, oh, we'll just ask some random question. Mm -hmm. So, it heard what I was saying, but it didn't really know how to process it, so having this generate the sound is an effective mask. So, let me just tell you super quick about it, and then we'll talk about why you might want it. So it's battery powered with three AAA batteries that they include. Such a nice thing, because I only had two in my usual battery store. So thank goodness that it comes with its own batteries. That's great. It has the privacy timer that lights up. You can set it anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, or of course you can just turn it on and leave it on. Now, if you're gonna leave it on for hours on end, there's this thing called a power plug that you can actually unplug. <laughs> Just saying, that's another solution. If you don't trust the mute button, having this thing unplugged should keep you safe, right? So that gets to the question. Oh, and one more thing. It works with the Echo, the Echo Plus, and the Echo Dot, because they all have the same form factor on the top. Which leads to the question, when would you use this? And here's the thing. I think something like this Mute Plus is more psychological than actually logical. So here's my thought, is that if you really don't trust having one of these speakers, then don't get it. It's easy enough, right? If you are a therapist and you just, you know, want to make sure you always have done everything you possibly can for patient confidentiality, then you don't have one of these in your office. That's pretty easy. But on the other hand, let's say you're HR and you're going to have a meeting with someone and there is one of these because your company uses them for music, right? So having something like this is a psychological thing. It's like, I have a device that will make sure this is not listening and can't record anything. Even, you know, people say, well, you know, maybe it is still recording even though it's not supposed to be. So, you know, you do something like this, you put it on top, and now you have that sort of psychological reassurance that you have masked this listening device. Because obviously, it does listen all the time. That's its job, right? So, you know, for something like this, I think for a lot of people, Maybe if you're a little paranoid or you're about to like, you know, get on a phone conversation or have an intimate conversation with someone and you really, really don't want anything to be overheard. So there's this, but this is a physical action. This is something you use. It's an object that says we have now muted this device versus just saying, oh yeah, it's unplugged. Don't worry about it. Or I put it on mute and now it's in the red circle. So now you know, Alexa, what time is it? Nothing, see? So how could it be recording? Well, we don't actually know what's going on inside this circuitry. So something like this does give you that additional insurance if you really, really don't want to unplug it. So, you know, 
I'm not sure who would buy this. I'm not sure whether this is something you would want because again, it's awful easy to just unplug the darn thing. <laughs> but if you do like, you know, if you do have that suspicion, if you're a little concerned, if you want to have a little additional privacy, then this is actually a very simple and elegant solution. And it generates very low volume noise. You really can't hear it at all, even if it's like this. It's nothing you're going to hear. And frankly, if you're a therapist or something, you already use a white noise generator for privacy. So this just fits into that. Um, it's also very inexpensive. So this is $24.99, and you can pick one up at mysmartylife.com. Um, if this is something that appeals to you versus unplugging or trusting the mute button, then it is a simple, straightforward solution. So there's that. Now, the company is not all serious and all paranoia and all suspicion, because they also have something really fun too. But before I get to that, let me ask if you can go ahead and click on that subscribe button, because if you subscribe to my channel, then we get to stay in touch. How good is that? And if you are suspicious or don't trust your voice activated system, tell me about it in the comments. Tell me about how you work around that or whether you just assume that now you have these devices in your house somewhere, something or someone is always listening. Sounds a little Orwellian, but you know, whatever. Okay, on to the fun stuff. Same company, Smarty makes these. These are plug-its. These are super cute. So. You're like me, right? You got a bunch of these little tiny charger plugs and you have no way to differentiate whose is whose. So we use permanent markers and write on them, which is not super fun. So what Smarty did is they came up with this thing called plug it. So let me just open this thing up. And plug it are just, I mean, this is super easy. They're just little rubber, I don't know, little hard rubber cases that actually fit on top of your plug and then they give you this very cute appearance. And that's it, that's their whole job in life. There's nothing serious about it. They're not giving you more privacy. They're not making it charge 4% faster. It's just fun. So fun is a good thing. We are big fans of fun here at Ask Dave Taylor. So let's go ahead and put the other one on. And now we have, this is, let's see, this must be Husky versus gray cat. So now we can have like a charge off, right? <laughs> I see, I'm telling you, it's fun. And then the third one in this set is golden lab. And it doesn't look much like a lab, but whatever. I mean, you know, there's only so much you can do with your design when you have tiny little cubic things to do. So they come in three packs. So this three pack is husky gray cat golden lab. The other three pack is um, Palmation or possibly Dalmatian, Pig and Orange Cat. And they work with the little five watt chargers that you get from Apple. So, you know, this is super fun. It's very inexpensive. It's just a, a fun thing. If you like are living in the dorms and you're sick of other people stealing your chargers, this is your solution. You now have a way to know which one is yours. Problem solved, right? So, they are three packs, $14.99 for three of them. And again, you can check them out at My Smarty Life. So this is Dave Taylor. I think we're going to get back to cat versus dog, <laughs> which means I'll catch you in my next video.